Welcome back to the channel, TVF Gaming, jumping into our Warzone playthrough. Seven Days to Die has been a lot of fun. It's good getting back into Seven Days to Die. I gotta go get food and water. We've been digging the entire night. I've got the start of the base down here, so we at least have our little kind of structure where we're gonna start building the base. This goes back over here to the main structure. Takes us all the way back up. So, we, oh shoot, there you go. We got quite a bit here, so we've got a lot to do to upgrade everything. Oh man, we're having a little bit of trouble getting up this. Is it not? Does that not work anymore where you can cruise up these things? Oh man, maybe not. Okay. Uh, it works going backwards. I don't know why I couldn't go up straight up right there. That's really weird. Hmm. I went up once during the nighttime, so I know it works, but last night was pretty quiet. No, no real messes up here or anything, so we're good to go there. We just need to now fortify this to where this isn't like an easy entrance for them to come in and go down on top of us. And then we'll kind of figure out what's up after that. But right now, please don't take damage. We need to get food and water. That's first things first. Let's go some sham chowder. Let's get some actual goldenrod tea. This takes us up 24. Duck a smoothie. It's a little bit of food and water. Uh, we're going to eat that other sham chowder. We're going all the way 100. All right. Uh, and then we probably need one more water. We'll probably have to like actually buy a couple things. Let me do a quick drop off of things. Drop off of things. And we'll drop that, drop that, drop that. We'll come back and do a little bit of building today, but I, I want to go out and do just a little bit of adventuring, a little bit of getting things done today. There we go. That should be all that. Let's go get a mission from our good buddy wrecked inside here, and then we're going to do at least, at least one or two missions. See what we can get. Oh, we're level eight also, so I got another level last night, which means we've got skill points. So we're, we're slowly putting them into strength. I would really like to get as high as possible in strength so we can keep focusing on that. I would love to do these two because we need those. And we're going to have to do Master Chef soon. I'll, tonight, I'll be getting my, my storage and my campfire set up so we can do cooking and storage and all that and start getting a little bit sorted and kind of start digging in a little bit and kind of making our way through this world. Should be good to go once we get going, yeah, though. What What's up, man? Man, I want everything. Let me... I'll sell you food. He should have... Yeah, definitely. He's got a brand new storage. So let's go ahead and check out the storage. Uh, story, sorry, inventory, uh, store, store, inventory, words. All right, uh, tools. I just want to see if he's got a tool worth grabbing. We might get that anvil. It's here. Oh, he restocks daily. We could have been checking every day. Oh, oh, okay. I did not realize that. All right, reading. Uh, knife guy, electrical, get hammered. No, no, no. Vehicle adventures. Do I need that to get the bicycle? Let's buy it. We, we've got a decent amount of cash. We're going to grab both those. Sharp six, no. Shotgun messiah. That is shotguns do 10% more damage. Yes, please. Okay, that's it for those ones. Mods. Uh, wood splitter mod. That would help for getting all the wood that we're getting. Um, it's 1,200. A little expensive, but we'll do that. And then honey we don't need. Splint we'll probably need eventually, but we're good right now. And then last thing, good in here, right? What I like is that not everything is breaking super, super fast. That That's usually a big issue. Let me grab two waters and we'll grab this boiled meat and a can of chili. There you Don't go. The a couple extra things. So let's go ahead and go like this. Go like that. Modify. Throw that on. And then we'll go ahead and do the shotgun messiah. Shotguns do 10% more damage. That's awesome. Vehicle adventures. We only have three of those. We really haven't gotten very many. And then we've got, how's our food and water? Food is maxed. Water now should be maxed. All right. Awesome. And then, oh, you know what we were going to put points into? That's what we want to put points into. Skills. Hack mule. We're going to keep putting into here. So let's do one there. And one there. Boom. So we should. We've got a few extra slots at least. <laughs> so we won't get overweight quite as quick at least. All right. Let's go. Let's see what's out here today. Oh, what do we got there? Hey, guys. Let you guys come over here so we can go ahead and get some pop shots in. I can shoot through there, right? Oh, shot her leg off. Take that. Oh, I think we got him. Oh, that is bad looking things. Yep. Close it. <laughs> There's somebody running at us full, full speed. What is this lady? She has thousand health. Nice. Give me that free XP. I will take it. I don't even feel bad for cheesing just a little bit. Oh, what am I doing, man? I didn't even grab the mission. 
Sorry, we got overzealous. My bad. Slow down. Rewind. Grab the mission. Oh, man. Uh, did, did I say thanks for joining us today? Like, comment, subscribe on today's video. Huge shout out to the patrons and the YouTube members. Oh, they make these videos possible. If I did, if I said it twice, I'll try to edit it out. All right. Jobs. Jobby jobs. We've got clear. We've got fetch. We've got buried supplies. We're going to do the buried supplies. Look, I hate buried supplies, but some, I'd say they've gone really well, minus the one that we almost died on. But it would be a lie. So let's see. We need to switch our quest. Buried supplies. Take that. Hey, that away. We are going out the opposite way this time. And I saw things running out here, so let's be careful. Might have been just the one that was running at us, but I thought I saw one more in the background. Maybe not. As long as we can keep sprinting, we're doing just fine. So we'll go over here. We'll dig this up. We at least got one mission done, and then this will be like our fifth or sixth mission already. So we're flying through the missions, but... I think you still have to finish 10. I think that's right for this one, right? All right. Mr. Yo. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, yep. I hear you. There you go, little crawler guy. Thought it was just you. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> the feral guy just, he moves so quick, it's kind of hard to hit him. Got that. Make sure we're grabbing some of this as we're coming out here. Okay, please, no on fire dire wolves and other crazy stuff. Did it just give me one in the middle of the road? Wow. Okay. Can I at least start over here? That's crazy. Okay, at least this is diggable. We're going to be stuck underground on this one. This is a really bad idea. Okay. We'll see what we can do. This one might be really, really difficult. Okay. Dig under that. All right. We'll stay here on the edge as much as we can. Come on. There we go. Shrinking in. <laughs> oh, what an absolute mess, man. Okay. We're going to have to do this. This is outside the thing, so it won't count. But we'll dig this down so we have a nice little ramp getting in. Hopefully. Hopefully we can get this done. This is going to be kind of a mess now. Why did it give us one under the road, man? But yeah, man, this has been a lot of fun. Warzuck is a really cool overhaul mod. It is super, super dangerous and super scary. Uh, it has been pretty much struggle bus this whole time. Running a lot and being scared even more. Now at least, we at least have nothing else. We have full food and full fluids or at least close to so we're good to go there all right let's dig out these two we should get a shrink here in a second there we go we got friends nope <laughs> we're trying to wait for it this is wild I've, I've never had well that's not true we've had this happen way many moons ago all right let's make sure we have a ramp here one thing I don't want is to get stuck down there. There we go. It feels so narrow. I don't know. I'm going to just widen this out. It just feels super narrow. Probably not super needed, but it just feels like it's feeling like really trapped in there. That is a bunny. Unless it's one of those ones that's Looks like a bunny, but then you get close and it's like a cat or something. Okay. All right, let's dig under as best we can without getting under here too much. There you go. All right, we got a big guy. 1,700. Holy crap. Okay. Ready. Hit him. Okay, watch out. Oh, man. Okay, we're definitely bringing friends. We got one guy coming. The other guy's not. We got this guy. This guy's only got 183. We're good. 1,700 health is ridiculous. All right. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Continue the process. We really need to clear this out. 
just gotta do this so we can get out easier. That was a little bit tight. Get that. Get this one out, and then we'll keep going. Okay. Going in. And then we'll probably not do many more buried supplies. This is if we're gonna get stuff like this, this is not good. When we played one of our really big playthroughs, we had we had a problem where we were getting all in the water. All of our buried supplies were in the water. It was insane. Alright, get that. Same with airdrops. We had a problem with airdrops going in there too. Nothing. Look how far in there it is. Okay. Okay. Is that it right there? Hold on. Oh, that would have been awesome. Okay, keep going. I don't want to get trapped down here. That's my biggest fear with this. That that's what I'm worried about. Okay, walking. All right, come on, big mama, come on over. Done. Seven fifty for that. That was perfect. Okay. All right, get both these. I don't know. I wish I could. Kind of tell which way to go here. Okay, nothing. Yeah, friends. Okay, sounds quiet. Okay, I think it went left. It went left. Okay. Okay, stop sprinting, please. Okay, we're digging left. <laughs> buried, buried under the street. Okay, get that. That. Come on. Come on. Get out. Nothing. Okay. Just making sure. Okay. I think we're digging the right way. Okay, any minute now would be nice to see the thing. Am I digging inside? Hopefully. Still no. Come on, please. Okay, it shrunk again. Nothing. There is a bad, bad thing over there, though. If we shoot here, that might chase us. That's going to be freaky. Okay. We had super bad luck with this. There it is. Okay. Unfortunately, the run out is going to be a nightmare. All right. Drop extra stuff. Drop extra stuff. I know those are probably important. Okay, go. Go, go, go. I don't know what's coming, so we're just going. <laughs> okay. He's still coming. We're ready. Okay, we got a cop that's like 550. Gotcha. Okay, we'll take out this last one too. Marlene. Got it. Alright. All the way to the trader now. Okay, that wasn't too bad. One under there was just a, kind of a kind of messed up, but it wasn't too bad. We'll go in here, turn in this mission. Let me count up how many missions we finished. Ooh, ooh. Drop somewhere good. Gonna drop way over there. We're gonna go for it. Alright. Go in the back door. Wait. Is there a back door? Yep, over here. Okay. I almost wasn't sure for a second there. Go in here. Nice. Alright, we're inside. Should have all of these closed if I don't. Just in case somebody gets in. Is there something you need? All right, man. Please give me something good. Go. Uh, I'll take the antibiotics because we might need that. We'll eventually get infected or we'll die. One of the two. So I, I don't want to take another one of these. We got Purser, Hogfoot Village, and some residences. I think we'll just wait. None of those missions seem like they're worth it. Let me check how many we've done now. So we've done one, two, three, four, five. That's the tier one clear. Six. So I need four more 
to finish. We might be able to finish that before day seven. If we get a bike before day seven, that might be kind of huge. All right, let's do a quick drop off and then we're going to go, we're going to make the run for the, tr the drop over there. All right. And we got an, another home cooking. Every one of these things we've gotten a home cooking thing. Oh, NVGs. Nice. Military purify tablets. Another sham chowder. We've gotten sham chowder from that every time as well. All right. Put all those in there. All right. Let's sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Night vision mod. I'll keep it for now, but we're going to end up, we'll probably end up selling it. Bartering 10% and antibiotic. Okay. That. Keep our food high. Let me sell these last couple things to the guy. And then we'll continue out to that and we'll try to, if there's any more of those little Warzuck packages in the middle, we'll do those too. You got money this Let's sell time, that. Or you just sell that. Piss me off. Sell that. And that's it. All that gawking at goods. That was it, man. That's all, all I needed. Buy. Okay. So now we'll make our way back over to the other side. We've got a decent amount of cash now. So there is the drops. Let's see. So it's these things right here on the map. We're going that way. So there's a war supply there that I need to go get. We're going way down there. Okay. All right. Well, let's just focus on going to this one. It's kind of a long run, but actually it's not really. 490. Perfect. All right, just be careful. We don't run into anything super bad. Anytime we're running through the wilderness, it gets a little dicey. We'll end up running into like an on fire dire wolf or bear. All right, make sure I'm searching these because we get really good stuff from those. And then I'll probably grab a little bit more of all this stuff. I don't think I can make yucca, not yucca, but red tea or green tea yet. All right, we got a big guy in front of us. Right. What's up, Mo? Come on. Oh, we got a big, big guy over there. Oh, God. He has a large hammer. I don't know what that guy's doing. There we go. <laughs> I think those guys with the extra weapons or tools, they should drop stuff for sure. Now, the question is, is this going to be like some of the mods where you get punished for going to a drop? This took a little longer to get to than I thought. Is this back where we started? Uh, no. We'll search these. In fact, I'll search those on the way back. Let's search those on the way back. Okay, we got... Can't see... But we desperately need a better pickaxe. I think I can make like the really basic one. Oh, there you go. See right there. He's on fire. He probably has like thousands and thousands of health. Make sure we're reloaded. We'll avoid him. We'll fight this guy instead. Take the zombie with 90 health way, <laughs> way before that. All right. Do we get attacked when we go to this one? Let's find out. And be ready to run just in case. Okay, take it. 15 seconds. So they would definitely punish you if you tried to grab this while you're getting chased. Nine seconds. Get this one. Hopefully it's some good, good stuff. Everything in Warzock has been really good loot. So loot is outstanding in this mod, which kind of makes up for the difficulty spikes. Uh, oh my god. Holy cow. Oh man, you'd be in trouble if you had a... A lot of stuff on you. All right, tools digest. We just unlocked iron quality two, pocket mod, cooling mesh, reflex mod, custom fitting mod, shotgun weekly, tech junkie, urban combat, batter volume one, ten percent more damage with clubs, knockdown power attacks, increased chance of knocking down enemy. Oh, awesome! And vehicle off road. That was a pretty nice collection. Mini bike chassis, engine. Just a ton of stuff. Ton, ton of stuff. Okay. I don't know what that guy is, so we're just going to avoid. Let's head all the way back. Oh, she is quick. Oh, come on. Why'd she get us? We got a level. Saw a chicken, but it kind of took off on us. Okay, where are we at? All right, let me get to the road so we can get the rest of the vehicles on the way back. Oh, he's crazy looking. Red bow. Oh, I missed. 
<laughs> I missed the club completely on that first one. But there's a town over there too. I definitely see some town there. Might be wasteland though. Alright. We'll grab these couple vehicles and whatever else loot is right here. And then we'll go back to the trader. Not to the trader. Actually, let's go to base. Let's go to base and do just a little bit of base stuff. We got a little bit of adventuring done. Got a few zombie kills in today. In terms of kills, we're doing okay. We've got 83 kills, no deaths, nine level 9, game stage 66 so far. So, unfortunately, the zombies are going to get worse and worse. If we hit game stage 100, it might get kind of nasty on the Horde night. I don't know. Uh, another club. Okay. Oh, got a couple friends over here. We're already getting slower. Let's scrap you. Eat that. I'll drop that for now because I have quite a bit of that. I have quite a bit of that. Eat both of these. Oh, wait. Dysentery. No, don't get dysentery. Ooh, okay, I'm not going to risk it again. All right. We got exploding crossbow bolts. I've got a pipe machine gun. That's kind of huge. And a pipe pistol. So we've got some extra oh crap weapons. That's good. First car. And then we got to stop searching. We need to get back. Uh, scrap. Scrap. Take. Okay. No more grabbing up stuff. Yeah, I think we're going the right way. We're definitely not as fast as we need to be, so let me drop some more stuff. Um, grab that. I would like to sell it, but I just want to get rid of it. Uh, crop. Got the feathers for now. We can get more feathers pretty quickly. Uh, I know we shouldn't drop cloth. Don't need the pipe pistol right now. I'll keep the pipe machine gun. Drop the chicks. Eat the can of chili. Okay, there we go. Got a little bit of speed. We just need we need constant speed in this one. So we're going to run back, and then we're going to go to the Warzuck supply later. I haven't seen any other ones while I've been running around, but it's just a little ways that way. We can go over there in a little bit, and then we'll... I guess work on some of the base stuff. I want to get my storage down, and I finally want to have a place to cook. I don't really have a lot of meat yet. We haven't done much for hunting, but we can start doing a little bit of that, and then we need to do a little more chopping down trees and stuff like that. That'll help out. Need at least a couple thousand wood. I hear an electric guy. <laughs> All right, time to bounce. We'll just avoid that. Probably should plant some more trees back closer to us. We don't have to go so far for trees, but we'll do that later. I don't know if I've kept the seeds or not, but if we did, that'd be perfect. And that way, in daylight, we can start moving our storage down. Because we can move our storage downstairs. We can get everything set up downstairs and have all of our stuff together. And we can start actually sorting it out and figuring out what we really have. That would help out a lot. So first thing, I need to fortify this. The last thing I want is for them to get inside. Let's do this. Go like that. No, not copy shape. Hold on. Shape. We want a like a some kind of ramp. Oh, ramp. We've got the wedge sixty. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go advanced. And I think we want to do that just for this front side. More there. And more here on this side. Okay. Upgrade this. I'll have to go get the cobble to get it upgraded higher than this, but this will work for right now. Get that. Nope, this is wrong. Gosh, dang it. I messed up. Okay, unfortunately, I got to break this out. It's going to take a second, but we'll break these ones back out. My bad. Break this one. Break this one. Yeah, that's not what we want, because we want all four of those to be... This needs to be bars. We're going to switch those to bars. Yep, let that drop. That's fine. It's already 1,500. We got a late start today because we were downstairs mining, and there's just so much mining to do. It takes forever when we're still working with an axe, and we're still kind of early level. All right, so we want to break this one out. Break it on this side. Okay. One, two, three. Could be this one. 
And then these will be bars instead. There we go. And then we'll go... No, no, not like that. Hold on. We'll go like this. Like that. Do the center bars centered. Come on. Flip it. Flip it. There we go. One, two, three, four. All right. We'll do that all the way to cobble here in a little bit. This just gives us a somewhat safe fighting platform. Like that. And then we'll go change this to... Oh, man. Opening my inventory causes some weird stuff sometimes. And then... We want to go bars here, but we want the ones that are on the outside. Or we could do the we could do the ladders. Go like that. Yeah, we'll do that one. Okay, we'll go like that. Okay, and then I want a hatch there. We'll put a hatch there. And then here we want to do this is the one I always mess up but it's like a plate catwalk plate plate one of these plates it's like a night there it is plate half triangle there you go okay so we go like this advanced like that so those two pieces basically make this work so that we can sit here and melee and everything everything will pretty much fall off right there we can put additional pieces. This kind of, it doesn't really make it to where it's like super, super cheaty. Kind of the way we like to do this. Copy shape. Like that. Let's get up top. Okay. One, two, three. There we go. And then we'll, we'll fortify the rest of it. But that's at least, that's kind of what it is. This will just make it to where they can't get right to us. I mean, they can still get to us, but... And then we'll make a way up. So we'll get up and down. And we'll definitely cobble it all the way up. This will make it to where they should run right here, and I can melee them. I might have to get rid of that one, so I'm going to leave it as a frame for right now, because I can't remember if we can keep that there. And it could be in Warzuck. Sometimes the AI works differently, so that might not work. If that's the case, this is all kind of all for naught. We're going to be living underground most of the time, so we don't have to worry too much about, like, just regular random day attacks. And it's been not too bad in this area. Of course, we're still early game stage. Okay, good, good, good. This actually should be cobble. But we need to go... This. Copy shape and rotation. Like that. And then copy shape rotation here. Here we go. Maybe once I get those upgraded, it'll work for me going up and down that. Like that. This wasn't originally going to be a little horde fighting base, but it'll work. And then I want a hatch there. I'm going to go like this and shape plate again. that okay there we go and then we'll put a hatch there so that way we can at least protect that when we go down so like a couple layers of protection at least a little bit uh and then i just need a way to get up and down all right so we'll go like this and one more ladder 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 Scaffolding. Okay, that should be good. All right, uh, let me start trying to take some stuff. And we'll work on some storage and stuff down there. How full are we? It's actually not too bad. Okay. Can I still jump? Oh, I can't move like that. Okay, nope. So there is a limit to it where you can't move. Man, I hope nothing comes right now. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. 
Okay. They really punish you. So I haven't been that full, so we didn't know that. Okay. So I can't even pull, like, a full thing right now. Keep the wood. Okay. Oh, super slow. Okay. And then we'll go all the way back down. Do I have some of my stone on me, hopefully? We can get a little more stone down here. All right. So, yeah, see it. Definitely. Oh, God. Please don't fall and die. Maybe this ladder idea is not a good idea anymore. It's working so far. Maybe it's an issue of where I'm looking. All right. And then this eventually will be like a, an, an all concreted out hallway. That's way in the future. Obviously, it's going to take a long time to get it all like that. But this will be our, where our actual little base is at. Don't do too much of that because we actually need to... We're going to do the storage right there. So I need to hollow this out just a little more. Let me dig these out. Like just like two layer or well, one layer here. We'll throw our storage in and then we can start finally putting our base together and kind of making a place to live where we can make it our own. Hopefully it's somewhat doable. And hopefully they don't immediately dig straight down and destroy everything. If they do, we've learned our lesson. It'll be our punishment. But I think we're deep enough to where it's not going to be an issue. I don't know. I'm curious to see what, very curious what, like a, we got like a screamer horde or something crazy, what they would do right now. I don't know. We're closing in on level 10, which is awesome. Okay. So it's going to be literally make some storage. How many can I make? I can make, let's make like 12 to start with. And then we can upgrade behind here. Do I have the cobblestone blocks? I do. That'll eliminate one thing of upgrades here. Do I have cobble? I have a little bit of cobble too. Perfect. Okay, we'll upgrade that. Upgrade those ones. Okay, and this will literally be one, two, three. One, two. Okay, we'll have to finish that out a little bit. Back to regular frames. This is literally just a back wall for the base. All right. All of our storage will go on this wall. And then we got a lot of clearing out to do to where we can actually move around in here. But this at least allows us to move everything down here. Okay, and let's upgrade those to cobble. And we'll get a bunch more cobble made tonight so we can upgrade that whole base up top. There we go. And then, like I said, we got to clear this out a little bit further. And then we'll start the storage. I'll do sorting tonight. That can wait till tonight. I just want to get things down here while it's still daylight. While we can go kind of up and down somewhat safely. 300, but making good progress for day four. I was kind of hoping to get just a little more done. We're rolling. All right. Just got to get over here so I can access all of the storages. And then on the opposite side, we'll start working towards the workbenches because we can make at least a forge and start getting that stuff going. I think we can make a forge. I might be lying, actually. Okay. So, starting right there. Go like that. Go like that. Okay. One, two. Okay. So, if all we can do is these ones first, that's fine. That's a good start. Okay. Now, we can literally we'll do like an, a drop all kind of thing. We'll go up and get some more. Oh, don't drop your shotgun shells. Watch something crazy will happen. Keep the shotgun shells. All right. Everything else is fine. We'll be right back. We're literally now just going to go up and down a couple times. I might. Let me see how this works. Okay, if I look away from it, it seems to work way better. When I was looking the other way, it was a no-go. Here we go. Nice. That gets us up top here. Now we just got to go up and down a couple times, and we have all of our stuff inside. These will stay here for drop boxes for, for this. There you go. I like that. That's, that's good. That does it. And it takes a second before the, the weight really kicks in. It's perfect. Okay. Kind of cruise all the way down without falling. In the Back in the day, you could put a hay bale at the bottom, and you could jump down without breaking your leg. I don't know if that's still a thing. I would love to try it, though. All right. Uh, just not yet. <laughs> if we die that way this early on, it'd be really, really sad. Okay. We'll go like that. Nothing like this. All minus the shotgun shells. Okay. All right. 
Okay, come on, come on, come on. All right, cruise all the way up. And I think we got one more grab, and then we're done. And then we're good, man. All the progress made today, perfect. I I need to put a point. You guys have seen me play. I need to put a point into parkour very soon. At least just one point. Parkour. Because I'm going to absolutely break my leg soon. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stay downstairs. The rest of the night, we're going to do a little bit of digging and try to get as much done as possible down here to kind of clear out a nice little meaningful base space. And then day five, we can do nothing but like literally just focus on running around and doing as much as we can looting or finishing missions. So that's perfect. Because the loot in this one, it's going to be awesome. All right. Uh, we will worry about that in just a second. Let's go like that. Like this. Like that. Okay. Give me the shotgun shells back. Let's get our wood, wood, stone, cobble, clay. Where's clay? Clay. And maybe just a little bit of food and water. What do we have? Our honey. I know we've got fluids. There we go. Yucca juice smoothie and water. Perfect. Okay. I got wood. Oh, you know what I also need? We need our fibers. Boom. Okay. Let me clear this out now. So that, that's going to be the next thing. We'll just clear this out so we can slowly build this down. Can we build that up to cobble? There we go. This will be perfect. And then we'll put like doors and everything here so it keeps it somewhat secure. There we go. Perfect. It'll be same thing on both sides, so that won't be too bad. All right. We got some definite work to do. It'll take a little while to get that done, so I'm going to work on that tonight. Thanks for joining us for another episode of 7 Days to Die. Really do appreciate you guys. It's been a fun week getting back into 7 Days, back into ARC, and back into YouTube in general, so thanks for joining us for that. I will see you in the next one. Later.